Blessings everyone, this is Sandra coming to you from Sisson Meadow in Mount Shasta. I wanted to give everyone a brief update uh, since it's been a while since I've made a video and the reason for that is um, I'm on kind of heavy duty gatekeeper duty right now and I know a lot of you have been seeing the fives or the 25 and August 25th um, has been coming up on a lot of different channels and it's, uh, it's not only this next planetary Merkaba, um, similar to what we had on July 29th, which was very powerful. It, it is part of that 13th Stargate. Um, but I, I wanted to mention how important it is for those folks who are on the path right now, on the ascension path, to pay attention. Uh, I wanted to come down off the mountain and, and get a video up about some information that I've been receiving. My personal journey on the 29th uh, was quite incredible. Uh, I got to experience my galactic self, my I am presence, and apparently my higher self has leveled up as well. So there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of upgrades going on. Here in Mount Shasta, we're dealing with um, the Pleiadian Syrian Alliance, the Arcturian Corridor, and some Venusian technology. Uh, that the mountain is being used for, and it's been quite incredible. I don't want to get into um, too much of my personal journey right now, because all of our journeys are very different. Mine seems to be going a little bit galactic at this point. Uh, not that it wasn't before, <laughs> but uh, it's the, the interaction with light ships. I'm learning um, higher levels of, of telepathy and and working these these gateways and holding them open while uh, while folks off planet are are setting up um, new energetics and new geometry working with uh, Shasta's central sun and the grid systems here on the planet and what it's producing is a very very strong opportunity for you to level up if you so choose the possibilities are limitless at this point and I wanted to to just comment on a couple of things um, because I I took some notes <laughs> uh, when when I was little I, I used to I used to do this thing where I would put my hands up against uh, the mirror that was that was in my bedroom and I would go to the other side of the mirror and it was my my way of of flipping to um, a, a reality that I wanted rather than the one I was experiencing and it was uh, it was an exercise that I that I did and it would it was just like a it was like a reset this um, you know 13th Stargate really feels like other side of the mirror it's it's coming into uh, not just this area of space not just the alignment but it's time, you know, all of these steps are, are laid out. And yes, there's a great deal of multidimensional coordination and everything is, is very pliable, very flexible as we, as we go through it. Um, and that is, is greatly to our benefit that things aren't set the way, the way they were in linear time. Now that we're in zero point, there's a lot more flexibility. And, and you're gonna see that reflected in the, the lack of doom, the lack of violence within and those folks that are still carrying that stuff around it's it's time to to let go you know they're they're getting the zero point mirror is throwing it back at them in a very personal way and all of us are being challenged by our personal journeys right now let me just tell you i've received all this information about the 25th a lot of it i'm not going to share because it's just it has nothing to do with everybody uh but but the the, the information was so strong, and the, the Pleiadian Syrian Alliance and Mount Shasta itself, as well as my higher levels, asked me if I would, if I would be here. Uh, the reason why they asked me to be here is because my parents' anniversary is on August 24th, and I was planning a trip to New York for their 50th anniversary, which only happens once. <laughs> And, and fortunately, I have a beautiful relationship with my, my family monad, and especially with my parents, that, yeah, we're all disappointed that I'm not going to be there. But the, the higher thing is...
that they now trust me enough to to say, wow, if she's not flying home, uh, there, there must be something big unfolding. Um, and again, it's not for everyone. Everyone will not experience it. They will experience the results of that. But it is a frequency, a level of divinity, divine unity, divine will, divine love, divine creative intelligence that is, um, we've been feeling this since mid-June, you know, a lot of us getting that completely clear, completely clear. You could see my last video if I talked about that. But, but now that we're clear, we're learning how to choose exactly how, where our focus is. And when you focus on divine will, surrendering, 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 letting go of all the mind level, letting go of the ego, letting go of the emotions, and the ego doesn't mean the positive ego, you know, the negative ego, the stuff that keeps you doing the same thing over and over again because it's afraid of doing something new. You know, this is the part of mastery where we're in transcendence. And in this transcendent state, I can see all the possibilities that I have for, for my personal journey. And, and that's beautiful. And I see how it aligns with, with the rest of the alliances and how we're, we are all working together and how it can benefit the highest interests of all concerned. I've been in, in, service, for, in service mode for quite a while. So I'm really not concerned about, you know, my, my, my life stream. But I was, I was faced with the, with the opportunity, and something I've been asking for is that, <laughs> sorry, big phrase, is that solar cosmic Christed state of beingness, you know, that divine upgrade to the 12 strands that, that put you um, in a position where it's, uh, it's, it's game over. For, for anyone trying to run 3D, 4D, you know, the, the control, the manipulation, the disharmony. And I want to speak just a moment about, um, to, to way showers and spiritual teachers, it's, it's, it's time to grow up. You know, this level of spiritual maturity is responsibility. You know, we, we focus on what we want to create. And, and those that are focusing on archons, things of the past, what was, you know, we are just in an experience of a shadow of what was. But what, what is the true reality, which, which I got to see on, on the 29th, you know, called away from the crowd, and, and Helene and, and CJ, I'm, I'm sorry that I had to step away, and K. Pacha as well, um, because up top, you know, I was asked to kind of step away from the crowd, step into the Stargate, tap in, and that's when I got to see eyes wide open, my, my, my higher self, my I am, higher self starting to merge with galactic levels and then up to the I am presence, got to see my whole team, we're, we're gigantic. And, and besides that, <laughs> this piece of grass that wants to be in the video, uh, and besides that, I got to see what the the fifth dimensional and higher version of, of Shasta is. Actually, that's that's much higher than 5D is, is what I was shown. But but we have to realize that when we're doing work on the ground, they were like, look, you're, you're sitting in a, a spiral of stones, but here's what it looks like. And it was this huge floor opened up in that flat part of, of Shasta. And it's this beautiful crystalline floor with all these gold geometries and then gateways started opening up and it's like a giant cathedral you know we've all seen the crystalline cities this was like over the top this is like diamond and gold and and, uh, and all radiating with that that beautiful higher dimensional light and and I got to explore you know I learned how to go through stargates now so I would close my eyes they would start to present and I could steer myself into it and then uh, could, could go through these these doorways, these gateways. I got to see my home in um, in the higher dimensions, and got to see that that when we, you know, when you're drawing, when you're you're playing Yeshua and drawing in the in the sand, you know, drawing in the dirt, these geometric patterns, and you're told to like put things down. You have to realize that on a higher level, that looks grand. 
you know, that is that setting when you're working with intention, of course, it's the pure intention. It's that, that level of maturity where we, we know what we're doing. And I received that on the 29th, a huge upgrade in my skills as a gatekeeper. And I had a little bit of performance anxiety when, when I was approached about, you know, can you be here for the big 25th tr trigger? And, and I've been seeing the fives and the 25s as well. And, and it was explained to me that that is an opportunity for, for, for the, the way showers the light servers, the folks who are going first, and by going I don't mean off-planet, I mean the folks that are going to make that transformation, the transcendence into carrying that higher dimensional light. I submitted an entire proposal uh, to, to my galactic team about how, how I want to do that and, and is it possible, and they, um, they said yes. So it, you know, again, how, how long it takes to unfold, you really have to let go of time. You really have to, you know, the, the, the way to, to get here, and I, I really feel like I'm getting there now. The way to get there is to just surrender. It, it has to be felt in stillness. It can't be in doing. It's not work, work, work. Yes, I'm living on the mountain. Yes, it's, you know, every night, 10,000 feet you know, do, doing, doing the good stuff. Um, but it is about unity. You know, it's not about me and, and Shasta. It's about all of us. It's about the, the galaxy. You know, we're all getting this, this rewrite right now. Okay, I don't want to get too long here. Um, oh, the other thing is, uh, on the mountain, of course, I don't have electricity, water, internet, you know, nothing like that. So um, for the folks that keep sending me emails about wanting um, f free sessions, I'm not available right now. And, and I won't be until a couple, at least a couple weeks after uh, this next trigger. I'm going through a, a very deep uh, rewrite in, in my skills, in the way I communicate, in my beingness, in how much light I can hold. And it's just it's just too important for all of us because some of us have to have to do this. We have to walk through those doors in order to show humanity what is possible. And I'm I'm willing and I'm here and I'm doing the work. And it's uh, and it is a deep, deep honor to to be asked to to be here during that trigger. You know, none of us know exactly how that unfolds, it's always a surprise, but you can, f I mean, if you're on the path, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's been, it's been a couple of months now of, of really, really gorgeous frequency, and it doesn't feel anything like we thought it was going to feel, because the, the, the rewrites, you know, right to the core, right to the bone, right to the, the deepest levels of even the light body, are, are being uh, transformed and your, your, your level is going to depend on what you are willing to step into. And to just go, go back to, to my original intention with talking to teachers, it is time to teach the new and not dwell on the past. This drama about the galactic battle is, is foolish. It's foolish to keep people there. Yes, we all have our 5D teams. And, and we're supposed to be, and we always were, supposed to be working behind the scenes so that we didn't have so much interference. And, and, and here we are at a pivotal point, and there's, there's always going to be lower vibrational hoo-ha uh, attempting to, to, to recreate what they've done in the past. There's absolutely no reason to to, to even consider that that is part of our reality any longer. You know, this is, this is something that, that uh, it's, I, I, just, I just laugh at it now. It's like you, you see it triggering other people, but it has nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with our journeys. Nothing. You know, unless you're on a, a 5D team fighting battles, I mean, please don't be, you know, the, the Don Quixote fighting a windmill at the end of this thing, you know, realize that a lot of that stuff you suck into your life stream by carrying that frequency. Get clear. And it is really time to take the entire 
collective, the entire awakened collective, up a notch. So pay attention. Sit in the stillness with these, with this new level. It's all about your perception. It's all about the unity. Unity. Be in love with with everything. Be that love. You know, this is this is a time when you're really going to feel it. For those of you in the Ascension course, um, uh, apologies that it's that it's down right now, and I'm 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 doing my best to get all those videos back up. Um, it took. You know, a, a long time to to get all that stuff together, but um, we, you know, it's it's a very bizarre time for for the ascension course to get uh, mishandled. But uh, here here we are, nonetheless. So patience, please. Um, it, it's not the time to to activate others or or try to discover a new modality because you're feeling something new. Let it go. Wait, wait. Have patience got to wait like three weeks before you try to you know put the shazam on anybody else this is new this is beautiful if you if you want to get together and just experience it yes be wide open but right now you you can't put yourself in the role of I I know what's going on and and here here I am because you're gonna miss the the giant personal very personal part of this phase this passage is about letting go of the last of that so that something new can step in and it's not going to if you keep doing the same thing or trying to to keep everybody in the same mode of of you know uh, uh, galactivation and and um you know it's not a workshop time you know the next couple of weeks take it down a notch i am going to recommend a couple of things um for for the for the folks in the ascension course um it, you know, practice the expansion exercise on your own, you know, if you haven't memorized how it, how it goes down, listen to me, but then take it on your own. Make sure you're wide open. Make sure you're paying attention. <laughs> open up that heart center. Ooh, yeah. Um, you know, if you, if you've, if you've kind of, uh, drifted a little bit or you're confused about what's going on, this is a, a, how much clearing have we done? Now it's getting down to the 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 basics of who you are and what your what your role is going to be, you know. And if you're open to completely shifting gears, it's it's available, you know. We just have to to pay attention right now. Um, uh, that that said, I I did manage to uh, to listen to. Uh, and Rita Melchizedek's latest 12 strand DNA walkthrough. It's, um, I, I found it to be beautiful <laughs> and right on with what I experienced at DNA. It's like that 12 strand feels like a giant multi dimensional structure around your entire beingness. It doesn't feel like even cellular and the etheric reconnection. I think she's, she's really on there. And of course, that's Pleiadian. So the Pleiadian team is, um, is really on that DNA activation. So listen to that a couple of times. I'll put the link in the notes. Uh, I, I just found it beautiful and I received information on how to set up a 12-strand uh, a integration uh, um, portal, Stargate structure, uh, right here on Shasta. I just need the, I, I've got to get the, the money together to get the right crystals to do it. But it's um, and it's complex and it's beautiful and there's there's a bunch of us that want to set up some some new uh, uh, places to to galactivate and to pray, meditate and everything on the mountain because the the old spots you know the the kind of tourist spots um, are are just kind of feeling kind of old paradigm right now. You go there and it's a lot of people have dumped their sorrows or their their high hopes in there, and you go in there, and it's like, oh, it feels like an old paradigm. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Uh, there's, there's people who, who need that, and they want to respect that and everything. Um, if you're going to come to Mount Shasta, come clear. You know, we got a big vibrational wall around the place right now. Um, come clear, and and be open to everything. This is not the time to come and try to clear or activate Shasta. She's fine. She's fine. And I'm on it, you know. We're not even doing clearing 
work with uh, with the, the teams that I'm working with. It's all about um, anchoring and and the personal journey. The personal journey, you know, all those personal challenges, like um, like you know, parents' fiftieth before <laughs> a major trigger. Um, this is this is hmm, that was uh, quite quite challenging. But, um, but nonetheless, I'm, I'm stepping into who, who I'm becoming and trying not to, to disappoint too many people in the process. But like I said, you, you transform into someone, something, a being that's a little unrecognizable. So here we are. Okay, uh, yeah, the, the patience, you know, the patience with this stage kind of demonstrates your your level of mastery or spiritual maturity at this point. You know, your patience, your ability to be right in the now all the time. You know, even even last week I was kind of, I was feeling anxious because I'm like, oh, the whole course is down, all the, you know, all the videos, I've got to get back up. And then, you know, there's all kinds of challenges when you don't have, you know, a home to, to plop down and, and, and work. So... And, and I have to be on the mountain right now, so patience, thank you. Um, 12 Strand DNA, the light signatures I spoke of, I'm just going to read it, of back in May, are now able to be activated slowly, consistently, continually as the body adjusts to a brand new perception. If you, yeah, if you give the body too much too quickly right now, you might feel very tired or ill. Um, and you go backward rather than forward. So it's it's not the try, time to try and activate, activate, activate. Be open and receive, 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 receive. There's so there's so much available, and there's so many beautiful beings, so much love available on the planet right now. <sighs> Kingdoms, elementals, get intimate with humanity, with everything around you. As, your, as the veils lift, <laughs> this beautiful tree right here, you know, trees are beautiful beings in the higher realms, anchoring and doing quite a bit of work right now. So, um, you know, it's, it's respect for, for everything that is, that is key. You know, your, your own journey as well as everybody else's. You know, be open to it. Be in love with everything. I'm so in love with you. I'm so in love with everything in this planet, in this process. It's beautiful. You know, if the frustrations come up, challenge the frustrations. They're not even you. When the fears come up, you know, uh, you got to face the dragon. You know, this is, this is time to challenge those fears and say, that is not even part of me. And why do I keep using suffering as a safety net? to stay where I was instead of where I want to go. You know, this is that that deep soul-searching time. We're not in a, a dark night of the soul. You know, well, some, some people are because, you know, they just, they woke up a little later. But for those of us who woke up early, this is, um, you know, this is the last bits of the, the, the really opening up for the divine will. If you, you know, focus. You learn how to focus your consciousness on one thing at a time. Oddly enough, you learn the focus, and then you learn multidimensionality. You know, until you can learn to to master your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, the mind level, the multidimensionality is just going to be scattered. You know, you're just going to have these this these pieces of information from everywhere that, uh, you know, you're trying to piece the puzzle together. Um, it, enough of that, you know, it's, it, it's not a time for uh, being, you know, uh, ev everywhere all the time. You know, there's, there's unity and then there's being just a, a monkey mind, you know, scatterbrained. So, sorry about my hair. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, focus on the divine will. You know, everybody is here for, for a reason, a lot of people have been really frustrated about mission. You're gonna get it if you if you be still, if you be still, and if you be true and authentic in every every way that that's possible for you right now. You know we all have different levels of authenticity, and <laughs> sorry, let me scoot over here. Okay, that's a little better. 
uh, just wanted to get the sun out of my eyes. Um, yeah, your focus on, on, on the divine will, being open, clear, still, Don't, the, the trying phase is over right now. Give it a break. You know, if you've been in trying, searching, oh my God, get offline. Get offline. I know. Watch this video and then yeah. <laughs> take, take a rest. I know a lot of people get addicted to the what's happening, what's happening, is with you, what's happening. It's happening here. You know, it's happening here, 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 all around you. Um, our trigger dates, 15th. First, the 23rd through the 25th, the gateways are always open three days before and three days afterward. So, um, you know, the hot spot, definitely the 25th. What should I do? Breathe, be still, get out in nature, get intimate with everything that is, get intimate with yourself. choices on a grand scale on how the next few months are going to play out for you. So it's, um, for those of you who are way showers or in roles similar to mine, you know, attempting to teach, share, doing, doing the work, especially the gatekeeper types, um, blessings to you and thank you. And thank you for, for taking responsibility. And let's let's all take it up a notch, okay? We we do want to demonstrate in a very authentic way what is occurring, and and that that doesn't include, you know, uh, a lot of um, what was happening in the past. You know, we can't we we just can't focus on that anymore. It's it's foolish. It's really foolish to to focus on on anything that was. And even in your personal life stream, if you're not in, in a role um, like we are, like I am, uh, foolish to try and, and recreate the same thing over and over again if you don't want it. You know, if you're fine with with uh, how, how your life is and you're not, you know, obsessed with, with what's going on uh, with, with the leveling up or whatever, thank you. Just be, be kind to everybody. But if you're still experiencing a lack of peace, you know, the war within must end in order for any of this shadow to, to go away completely for everyone. It's going away for a lot of us. It doesn't even make sense to a lot of us. You look around, you're like, why are people doing that to themselves? And it's all you. No one's attacking you. No one's trying to do anything to you. This is all of us. Unity. Unity. This is all of us going through this. And if you can get to a place that is authentic and clear, you will be able to, to approach those shadows of what was in a much more loving and kinder way, which is much more effective than, than any of the stuff that that a lot of a lot of the uh, the folks have been trying to, to run that for a while actually create a lot of those things that keep people occupied with fighting, battling, conspiracy, things like that. Oh, such nonsense. It's really nonsensical. And not only that, but we have a we have quite a, a bit of um, off-world interaction right now. And that kind of off-world interaction, don't wait for it, uh, is, is going to be taken up a notch as well. And it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to consider. A lot of, a lot of my work is, is going to shift into the interdimensional way of something. You know, the whole concierge to the, to the 5D New Earth thing includes um, not just building those bridges, but, but figuring out the best way to reintroduce civilizations that have been long separated, uh, and that's and it's beautiful, and that's that's really fantastic. Now, 
please don't obsess and, and spend this, this time online. It's not the time for that. It's time to uh, be outside if you can, be at peace, be still. And for those of you busy bees, as, as long as you can find an hour, a couple hours, a day, something like that, to spend with you, just you, I know unity consciousness and telling you to be alone, but uh, it's very important that we take advantage of of this passage and upgrade as much as possible, so that we can we can truly honor and serve the collective as well as possible. <laughs> so apologies again that I'm not available right now. Um, I'm I'm living up on the mountain and it's beautiful. I wake up in a cathedral every day. Uh, for those of you in the Ascension course, I am diligently, um, whenever I'm able to, to come down, <laughs> now you got me, whee! Uh, whenever I'm able to come down, I am, uh, I'm uploading a video. You know, this takes like three hours per video when you're uploading these things. I'm trying to find a better way to do that, and if anyone has any tips, ooh, and a secure way to store videos, uh, a, a good service would be, would be very helpful. Um, in the meantime, <laughs> thank you for your patience. Feel the love. Feel this frequency. You know, the Venusian technology is all about peace. Very, very, very fine, high frequency of love light intelligence. The Pleiadian Syrian Alliance is working on all these different PowerPoints, including the crop circles. Interesting gets to open up doorways for that fifth dimensional light to come in. You know, they're still sending all of this light in so that we can create... Oh, I love the train, it's so romantic. So that we can create heaven on earth and then we all get to experience that, you know, as quickly as possible. Kind of merge this reality and the new one that's already there as quickly as possible. Wow, it's beautiful. Arcturian Corridor also open through the 25th, technically always open, but uh, uh, I'll put Suzeel's link up here, um, Susan Carroll's link uh, for multidimensions.com. It's got information on the Arcturians, if you resonate with Arcturian by yourself, maybe, maybe. Uh, and and the, the big red reddish gold light ship that you're seeing with the little guy trailing behind um, is is working with with Shasta and uh, and that's that's gonna be fun in the next couple of days so if you're seeing that ship or if they're if they're giving you the the uh, the beams uh, start working with telepathy sending messages out from here and and receiving information from uh, you know this this whole gizmo has been has been reworked by now if you've been on the path for a little bit and it's uh, it's about the all all of those beamings and everything is uh, communication and activation to bring forth the solar cosmic Christed beingness isn't that amazing mm, yeah breathe right in you know through that that structure if you're in the course you know go go into that last video about the the solar cosmic Christ and um, breathe in, breathe into the heart of Korea. Look, look at the video that's out there right now. I'll, I'll put that one up first. <laughs> oh man. Oh. I love you all so very much. Thank you for for everything. Thank you for being there. Thank you for waking up. And thank you for stepping into your power. Thank you for for doing the I am work. And, and saying, I, I know who I am and I'm going to step into it and all this lower stuff is just nonsense and I'm going to step into a new way of being. That's how it is. <laughs> I love you so very much. I will see you after the trigger. Many blessings from Manchester. Mm -hmm.